you, Carson Jones uh, versus uh, Brian Rose. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I was more disappointed with the commentating of the fight than the actual fight itself. The fight was entertaining. The commentary was uh, a bit off. The color commentating, uh, I, I believe I got the British feed from uh, Box Nation. Was uh, it was either Box Nation or Sky Sports? One of one of their commentators. It was terrible, man. They kept calling uh, 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 you know, Carson Jones, uh, no Brian Rose, Brian Jones, and and Carson and ca- calling dude Carson Rose. You know, I, they they kept mixing up the names. Hell, they got me confused. You know, and I'm like, oh, Lord, he, he, I mean, it was just a little bit of professionalism, and it was a little bit of fanboy commentary. Uh, that's That seems to be big in the UK. It's bad, man. It's, it's like very bad commentating. It's like, uh, it's like when Ricky Burns got beat up by Terrence Crawford, and, you know, they, not, they didn't give Terrence Crawford any credit for bashing up Ricky Burns. It was like, real Ricky Burns must be something wrong with Ricky. He's having an off night. And, yeah, you know, it's not what Terrence Crawford's doing. It's what Ricky Burns isn't doing, you know. Um, yeah, Ricky can give it the go. He can, he can win the fight, you know. I was like, dude, he's not winning, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Jesus, ways. And then, um, uh, Carson, yeah, look, um, Carson Jones, he's, he's an opponent. Let's just face it, he's a, he's a top tier contender. People, uh, want to put on a resume at the end of the day to make themselves look good. Because, or, or, if you have an off day, you know, Carson Jones, he can beat you up. He can beat you up. Um and he did he, he did mark up Brian Brian Rose uh pretty good. But he to me he didn't it's like what Abel Sanchez said in the corner, it's like, Man, you're doing good but it's not it's not good enough to get a win because you know, you're in this dude's backyard, and it seems like it's a big thing in England um, for them uh, cheat dudes, man. We've seen it with Malik Scott, Derek Chisora, what else? So we almost saw it with the Frankie Gavin, Jorge Lorenas, uh, Linares fight. And Linares was whipping uh freaking Gavin one of the color time commentators gonna suggest oh he should uh you know get the fight stopped on cuts because he's a he's on the lead on the scorecards. You know what I'm saying? It's like dude you're gonna take this dude's belt on on cuts you know or like I think it was the accidental cut or whatever. But anyway the whole idea was for uh Gavin to uh win and it's like get to me Gavin wasn't winning, you know, but they they're gonna give him anyway. So give give him the boat anyway. So good thing Lorena's saw uh, Jorge Lorena's Lenares, excuse me, Jorge L- uh, Lenares won the fight by knockout, and um, that's that's that seems to be what you need to get in order to uh, win in the UK a knockout. But we can say that's in anybody's backyard. And prefer and for me, how I judge it, if you don't get the knockout, then hey, it's on you. You got twelve rounds to knock out someone. Not knockouts are good to me. They they're conclusive. I I don't care if you you getting whipped for tw- twelve rounds or eleven rounds, and there's like thirty seconds left, and you uh you know get a lucky or no I want to say lucky punch, but if you can get a punch in where it's uh you able to use that eraser, that great eraser, <laughs> and not and, and erase all the uh, all the good stuff that guy did round after round against you and put put him to sleep and knock him out. Hey, I'm for that. You know, enough enough going to the scorecards, man. 
We don't need fights going like 12 rounds and stuff like that all the time. Let's go ahead and somebody get the knockout. And we just see who's... Whoever gets the knockout is the best man. You know? So, um, I mean, that's what you're trying to do with the BK boxing thing. So, so anyway... Um, yeah, man, Carson Jones, he loses. Brian Rose, I, I, I guess he goes on and does this UK thing. I guess maybe he comes like a, another, you know, Commonwealth, a British, you know, champion at his weight class was one fifty four. Um, outside of like maybe K nine, but Bumbridge, I I don't see him beating none of the top. Uh, 154 guys. I, I just don't see it. Um, a lot of people question him uh, even getting a mandatory shot against uh, Boo Boo Andrade. So, anyway, you know, best of luck to both of those guys. And uh, let, let, let me know what y'all think, man. You got any UK guys out there? You know, big fan of Brian Rose. Any domestic level fights he can have? And. And if Carson Jones can come back to the UK and, um, you know, compete, you know, who, who, who would you like to see him fight? You know, who, who, you know, who would you like to see him fight in your backyard? Over here in the U.S., hey, he can fight anybody, man. Carson Jones is good with me. He, to me, he deserves a fight on a PBC. Um, all right, let me know what's up. All right, bye.